we decided to sell. Uh, it, this is a pup, uh, a dog, or a bitch that we've raised. Uh, she just turned four at the end of June. Uh, we've used her here on the ranch. We had a friend use her in the feed yard for a few months, give her a lot of practical experience. Uh, her parents are Dixie, if you look on our website, that's the mother. Uh, the grandsire is Bill, the white dog, and her sire is Pat, probably one of the better healing dogs we've ever seen. Yeah, the only reason this bitch is for sale is because she had proved to be barren at this point. We have not been able to have a litter of pups out of her. So if you're planning on uh, buying a breeding bitch, this is not the bitch to be, to be bought. Uh, I've never had her examined. I really don't know to the extent of her infertility, but she is infertile. Uh, I'll show her to you on cattle. She's a nice, easily handled dog. She doesn't like to be scolded, doesn't like to be handled rough, and she sure doesn't like to be shouted at. And uh, she's on whistle and voice command. And uh, she has... Scent spot in the cattle over there. Helm's about 150 yards, maybe 100, 150 yards. About 150 yard outrun there. Steady now, steady, steady, steady. Ah, ah, lie down. Come on here. I'm showing her driving here. If I want to slow her down, I just draw the stop whistle out. Just draw it out and it slows her up. Spot. That's her way to me whistle. She's not afraid to get in tight places. She knows she can protect herself. She's a nice patient dog, and patience cattle pretty good. Sometimes when she's bringing them, she'll bring them in a hurry. You can, again, just scold her and steady her up for that. Driving nicely there, nice calm drive. Spot, spot, spot. That's her stop. Her walk up there. Way, Just a minute. I... Spot, come by. She likes to stop on her feet. She likes to work on her feet. Uh, I rarely take her down because she is so such a patient dog. Rarely do I ask her to lie down. But when I do, she will go to her belly and she will stay there. I've used her a lot uh, for starting pups and uh, for holding. Uh, you know, sheep up or goats up after the, you know, a pup's been into them, terrorizing them. Uh, and she's willing to gather things up and then lay there and let the pup work without being commanded. You can see right here, she's waiting on me. I haven't said nothing, so she knows to go about her business. Just driving. What? What? Going around. That's her way. The recall. You know, there's one whistle. She comes right back to me. Now I'll send her back. I'll stop her and send her back. That's her right hand. I saw her gather earlier with her left hand. Her left side is gathered. There, she's fetched up now, and she's nice and easy. I don't know if you can see through the feeder. Once again, the feeder's kind of in the way. But I'm going to let her fetch those cattle to me and try to give her just. I have a command on her with a whistle. 
and it's to get a hold of something. Things aren't happening quite as fast as I want them. And it's a gurgle. Here it is here. I can see what see a reaction. Come by. Spot, get out. Spot, get out, come by. Spot, come here. Come here. Come here. Right there. No, steady. There, steady. Steady, steady. Away out. There, there. Away. Understand. These are rub calves we kept around all winter and we just kind of trained some dogs on. Them. Not much of a challenge, but 